Bro, the ski lodge is just like so sick. Saw, dude, I just wish there was some more snow to shred. These winters have been weak. Dude, it's probably global warming. You know, did you know the Marshall Islands are disappearing? And that by 2050, half of Florida is going to be gone? Wow, bro, that's crazy. But you can't forget about our economy. We're in $18 trillion of debt. We need to fix that today before we think about the future of our environment. Our economy may be important, but how are we going to have anything for the future? There won't be an economy in the future if we don't have a planet. That would be a big problem, don't you think? Now that you mention it, that is a big problem. So how do we compromise on both our environment and our economy? To compromise? Why don't we, like, go to the UN and work with them to try and lower greenhouse gas emissions and stop the use of fossil fuels? And, if you know, if we help, like, poverty-stricken areas become better, it'll help our country and our planet as a whole. Although that's a great idea, to work with the UN would be too costly and slow. And to completely stop the use of fossil fuels would be completely devastating to countries including the U.S. Shots fired, option three. We need a better option. Let's check the interwebs. Wow, I think I've found the best option, green economy. Wow, no way. Here's the definition, brah. An economy that results in improved human well-being and social equity while significantly reducing environmental risks and ecological scarcities. That sounds perfect. No way. Whoa, dude, listen to this fact. Over 65 countries already have active green policies in effect. Whoa, dude, I just found the goal of a green economy. It's to beat other countries to producing the green technology we will need to the future to survive. It ensures a better future for the world and the U.S., economically and environmentally. Over five years ago, there was over 3.1 million jobs in the green goods and services industry. And that number has definitely raised by now. Since Obama has been in office, his administration has raised the use of wind and solar power by 248%. That's a huge increase in green technology usage. The idea of a green economy will also help the U.S. break its dependence on fossil fuels and help us find a renewable source of energy that won't hurt our planet. To put it simply, the point of a green economy is to strengthen the U.S.'s economy while reducing environmental degradation. It's lit. Man, the only problem with the green economy is that if the U.S. actually finds a sustainable source of energy, they'll be one of the biggest resource grabs in over 500 years. Another negativity to a green economy is the instant economic downslide. But your profits will rise and probably surpass your original profits once you find a new sustainable resource or a green technology. But wait, I think I get the big idea. If the U.S. takes a stance on a green economy perspective, then all the countries that look up to us will follow. I think it's best said by Sir David King. Governments will have to take the lead and set out a clear pathway for business and finance. Since we can join science and industry, we fixed global warming. What's up, dude? Now let's demonstrate some